up guys here at Basel 27 with my friend Roman, he's the head of product for Zenith watches and we're here with a watch that I think everyone's going to be talking about, it's the, the new Defy El Primero 21. I remember when I spoke to Mr. Beaver, he, he said he wanted to create the new version of the El Primero for this millennium. He wanted to create a watch that was a 1 one hundredth of a second chronograph, but it, at a price that was very accessible that had amazing perceived value. So Roman, tell me about this watch because it's cool as hell. So this is the DeFi El Primero 21. Yeah. As you told, as you, as you said, way uh, this is the entry of the El Primero in the yeah. 21st uh, century. We didn't, we haven't done nothing really uh, about, I mean, innovation in terms yeah. of innovation on the El Primero since 1969. Right. Uh, since we are uh, mastering the tenths of a second. Yeah. So. Well, which was a revel revelation, incidentally. Yeah, you of know? course. To so have a we chronograph. tried another revolution. Yes. Uh, to uh, enter the 21st century. So now. We are displaying the hundredth of a second directly on the on the, the watch. Amazing. Amazing, yeah. Uh, with a watch that has, I mean, several different features. Two escapements. Right. Two barrels. Yes. Two sources of energy. Right. Separate. So I wind the watch by going by, by winding it exactly. this way, and I wind the barrel for the the going one hundredth of a second chronograph the, the opposite way. Exactly. Fifty hours of power reserve for the watch. Yeah, and fifty-five minutes for the chronograph. Fantastic. Itself. And okay. the power reserve is directly displayed on the watch here. At the okay, so if you guys can see that right there. You can see that this is the balance wheel for the watch, which is what beating at five hertz, which is a signature El Primero uh, frequency, right? So now I'm going to turn the watch on. And see, look at that blazing one one hundredth of a second, uh, a second's hand. One turn in a second. One turn in one second. Now what's interesting about that is that's being powered by a tiny balance wheel over here that's beating at one one hundredth of a second, right? Fifty hertz. Fifty hertz. Yeah. Boom. Check that out. That's, isn't that amazing? And the price of this watch? 10.9, the one that you have in your hands, yeah. titanium, and 11.9 for this one in black ceramized aluminium. That's amazing. Which is like a ceramic, uh, almost as hard. Yeah. It's just an aluminium based. Ah, and this, is one, of our, this, this one is one of our favorite remember? materials for the Range Rover. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, let yeah. me ask you a kind of a, a question. I mean, uh, that maybe, you know, like obviously this price is extremely mm -hmm. aggressive, mm -hmm. right? Why is that important? Do you, is it to give this sort of much greater value than its perceived value or? Because the idea is to, I mean, create serial production. It's yeah. not like a concept that we are going to limit it. This is something that we want to implement on the market, like a, not a mass volume, but right. this is the idea. Absolutely fantastic. I love and, this watch. And there is also some, also some features that I haven't uh, mentioned, is that we have some hairspring in nanotubes of carbon. No. Which is a revolutionary um, The hairspring material. is made out of carbon yeah, nanotubes. And we're going to uh, produce them in-house in, -house in uh, the R&D watch division at uh, La Chaux de Fonds. Yeah. Fantastic. This is something that you have never seen before on what the market. What are the benefits of a carbon nanotube here? This makes the watch completely um, anti-magnetic. Yes. So resistance to a magnetic field right. up to, it still has to be tested, but uh, 13,000 goes. So incredible. This is going to be also anti-thermic. Yes. So completely uh, uh, temperature sure. gradients. Yes. And it's going to be also cost certified. Wow, that's so, incredible. Um, that's some, yeah, that's a triple certification. How, how is the, uh, so the carbon nanotube hairspring is being used for the chronograph and as well as the, that's uh, gonna the be watch. The, yeah, that's the idea. Because, I mean, they have to have it cost certified. Here the you need pieces to be, yeah. on Baselworld at the booth, we only use the nanotubes for the five hertz escapements. So, so how is it manufactured? Uh -huh. How is the mm -hmm. hairspring manufactured? What's the technology? That's uh, somehow like the silicone escapement by a yeah. wafer. Yeah. Okay, and then you have the, car so the, the carbon uh, stuff. and then So it's deep reactive ion etching, but on yeah, carbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard it here first, dudes. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Anything else you want to tell us about this watch? Uh, no, I think it's pretty much the same. It's awesome. So here at Zenith, guys, thank you very much for joining us. See you. Thanks. Bye.